Hey guys, it's Demon coming back for another round of Final Fantasy XIV. So, luckily, we ended the last episode. Um, let's check it out. We ended the last episode. What the hell did we do last episode? Trying to think. Oh, yes. Learning about Nidhogg's demise, talking to Race Folga, and discussing it with Thal's four taunts, and more importantly, Sir Emmerich. I don't know, it seems the Forgotten Knight was spared the worst of the earlier chaos. Oh yeah, and I forgot, there was massive mayhem back here in the city of Ishgard. Sir Emmerich went to confront his supposed father, aka the Holy See, to learn if he was telling the truth or telling lies. So, fun stuff. Idaheen, Alpenho, Gods, I've been worried sick. It's so good to see you. And you, Tataru, how did you manage to escape the chaos in the streets? Uh, Gilbrunt and the others barricaded the doors until the heretics left. No one was harmed, thankfully, but what about you two? What came of your journey? Well, we learned all hell broke loose, and then nothing else was going to occur. Uh, you're not serious. What was Sir Emmerich thinking? I mean, the way you two talk about him, I wouldn't have believed. Anyway, I've heard rumors of the people you're looking for, but I doubt they haven't been of much use. Uh, the only thing I'd say with certainty is that they were led by someone called the Mongrel. Queer Monaco, if I haven't heard one, but mayhap it will t make the individual question easier to find. Come, let us make all the increase below. Ooh. What are people in this? I mean, it is 8.14 on a Sunday. A lot of people are online, online right now, unless they're watching football or something. I don't know. I'm not big on football. I watch it every now and again if there's a game, but only if there's nothing else to do. That is a weird looking duck. Ah, mongrel. Not sure I catch your meaning to a blue blood where all of us dogs down here. Well, seeing as I'm not a highborn such as everybody else, I'm actually. I actually don't know what they would consider your character. I guess lowborn? I just kick ass. Hey, what's that? Speak up. I can't hear you as well as I used to. Well. I don't know what God's a damn thing about the mongrel, but if I did, you can be sure I wouldn't tell you. Um, storing them in me is fine, but if he admit go to me, I'm pretty sure he's gonna go back to full strength and whoop all your asses. Oh, wait, is Alphano down below? Oh, he is down below. Crap. How do you be up above? Where is he? Oh, there he is. Antitari. At first, the people were a bit standoffish, but little effort and a lot of parley. Parley? I have managed to make plenty of friends. A single shred of information, just as I expected, these revolutionaries would not have evaded capture for so long without the masses' complicity. Still, it is good to know that Tari's ears are as sharp as ever. Frustrating thing though it may be, we must press on. While I continue to speak with the people of Bloom, why don't you go and see if Gilbrand knows all to value? Prior to the Forgotten Knight, surely he must have heard whisperings of the Mongrel before. We can only hope that he will be more forthcoming than the others. Oh, I mean, he might be. I think he, I think he trusts us because he won't do anything. Although I, I will say this much: I did have some fun. Um. I did get to watch the SpaceX launch. That was pretty cool. For the record, if anybody's curious, today is the 15th of November. It's starting to get later in the month, halfway through. But uh, yeah, that's what I was ended up doing. I, it was a cool, well, it was a cool launch. I actually missed the beginning section of it, but I did get the uh, during the stage one separation. Pretty neat. You know, people are long for sympathetic gear, but they know that it comes with light lips. Discretion, Idaheen. That's what my customers expect. If they don't get it, then I don't get them. That being said, I'm not without my sympathy. I've heard the tales, and I know you've been done. You've done right by highborn and lowborn alike. The least I can do is point you in the right direction. But to do that, I'll need you to do something for me. Sometimes there's a hunter up in the crow's ear who owes me a fit of coin. How about I'm agreed to accept payments of fresh herbs? Go and get them for me. Agreed. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, it was pretty neat. I like Elon. I used to like not pay attention to a lot of the SpaceX stuff, but after um, <sighs> what ended up happening? I think he ended up doing the first successful launch with the crew, and then like he started interesting me like a little bit. Then with Tesla and everything, I don't know. I just I like seeing somebody actually doing something space-wise. Pretty neat. 
NASA's not doing too much. The rest of the world doesn't seem to care. It seems like the U.S. is the only one, you know, taking the, you know, the initiative on it. Especially, like, a small company like his. I can't say small. His freaking company's huge. It's worth billions. He's a real smart... He, he seems like he's, like, like a really smart guy. It seems like he's getting his dream off to a good start. Which I, I guess a lot of people here in the U.S. kind of like, because it's like, if somebody's getting their dream done, and you all get to witness it, and we all benefit. It's pretty neat. So your girlfriend's errand girl. Good, good. How's the how's he doing? Same as always, right? Right. Any road, I hope you appreciate how much trouble I had to go through all the account of those bloody apps. Time to enjoy them while they last, because I doubt I'll be able to find any more next year. Eee. Sounds like he was having fun. Oh. I really can't wait till 5.4 comes out. I gotta see what 5.4 releases into. Because I, I still don't know what Shadowbringers Part 2 does. Um, I know it gets to the ending of the one section, but my curiosity is actually focused more around... Um... Oh. You know, me yawning. Uh, I'm actually quite curious when Part 3 of Shadowbringers is coming out. Um, mainly just due to the fact that under New Game Plus, oh I can't show it, but you guys have seen me when I start up a new chapter. There's two chapters for it. And as far as I understand it, it seems like Final Fantasy always does it in fours. Except for Realm Reborn because they had to make Realm Reborn a bit longer. But like Heaven's Ward had four chapters, which were pretty cool. Um, Stormblood had four chapters, and as, as of now, Shadowbringers has a lot of content. I'm not going to doubt them on that. It, it has a large sum of content, and I'm assuming what is going to be considered part three is a lot of fun. I just don't know how much more they got. Hello. You want to have a little bit now? Girl, I know, God damn, you know, I hate these yawns. They come in like a they come in like a monster. I just ought to do it with a few other spices. I can just make it like she used to. Ah, there are a few things which starts the hearts of men like a sip of mulled wine. But share a glass with the right people, and who knows what stories they'll share. Now to think of it, there's a woman I know who's rather fond of this blend. Reetha is her name, and she resides in the pillars. She's a maidservant in some noble house or another. I forget. Anyway, it'd be a shame if she didn't get to try this wine. Why not give her a bottle? Oh, I see where he's driving at. Clever bastard. Okay, that means I have to head back up here. Oh, uh, fastest route. Okay, I better take the route up here. Doesn't actually matter which one you take, you both it, it takes you all the same place. Although I will say I quit doing Heroes Gauntlet. That's my only depression. I was using Heroes Gauntlet as a good income base, but I played it so much. I don't think I can do it anymore. Like it was the only duty finder mission I was doing for the longest time just because I wanted to get all the 490 stuff. Like all of this. Like, this was too, but it's like you can survive on Neo Ish Guardian uh, stuff. Because the ones you unlock back in um, the bigger stuff is stuff I can get. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm Harry, uh, Herithra. Uh, Bank of Common, but I know, do I know you? No, you don't, but he has a wine. Ah, I know this mess. This wine that girl used to prior a special recipe. It must be decades since I last tasted this. No, oh, the poor dear. Such a thing she was taken in by that baron. He had a dashing figure, I'll grant you that. Tall, slender, long of the air side. But those dazzling ruby eyes of hers were filled with lust. T'was not more than infatuation. What else she felt, but she convinced herself it was love, and he couldn't help but take advantage. But when her belly started to grow, gods of the scandal. I mean, tis not an uncommon occurrence, but... That it was the here made it so much well. I mean to tell you, she was discharged from the service, cast down onto the streets like so much refuse. After she returned to the broom, we drifted apart. I can only learn of her death years later by chance. Ooh. 
Yeah, but I like all my Crystallion armor. So I like that. I like where the story goes. Oh. I can't remember. We're on chapter 2, right? It's chapter 2. It has to be. Oh, it is part 2. That's what I was thinking. I actually don't know how much more of this is left. Wait a minute, I'm trying to think. So let's see. There's... Actually, I don't remember. So the Anforus nobleman bid his maid servant, then cast her aside when the seeds take root. Now the most original tale is it. Cold comfort for women and children who live it, though. Oh my god, I hate my sinuses. They're acting up. Even the pentulant can appreciate wine from time to time. Take uh, Grilliax, for example. Sure, you've heard of him, no? He's a monk who offers succor to the poor, so the poor and the broom. A man of many vows, but none which prohibit spirituous, uh, spirituous beverages. Ah, if there's ever a man who deserved a drink, it'd be him. <laughs> yeah. Sinuses are on fire. Ah, there he is. Good friend. Alone's blessings be upon you, miss. A gift for me. Yes, could I interest you in a wine? Fine wine. Ah, oh, said, how are we to a wine with me, my dear old friend? May her soul rest in peace. Forsaken by her family, she toiled tirelessly to feed and clothe her child. Yet somehow she found time to help me to those in even worse circumstances. So compassionate she was, so full of love for her fellow man. It was that love which gave her child strength to endure the scorn of other younglings. That little girl, bless her heart, she couldn't help what she was. Eventually she won them over, but the first few years were trying. Even more so when she started to fend for herself. <laughs> I remember days when she spent standing on the walls, raving black hair, flowing in the wind, staring out as if searching for her mother's face in the mist. Oh my god, what the hell is making my sinuses go ham? Ah, oh, they're on fire. Oh. Like, I was doing fine, perfectly fine. Able to watch a YouTube video, sit there and laugh and chuckle. And sinuses, no problem. Some they go get ready to freaking record. Sinuses just, you know, do their thing, get me pissed off, and now I'm sitting here suffering. <sighs> she was a remarkable woman, Idine. After everything she was forced to know, she still remained hopeful for the future, for her daughter's future. Some bonds are thicker than blood, but blood still defines us and divides us in the end. It's a legacy of our parents, Idahine, and we can't escape it no matter how hard we try. So the Mongo and her pups chose to embrace theirs, to claim it all in all its sundry. If you understand that, then maybe you can go find her on your own. Oh yeah. And yeah. Still looking for your mongrel. Like I said before, take your pick. Plenty around you if you know to look. Or did you fancy something specific? Oh, someone's got unusual taste. Freddy can't help you though. Well, rather, it's bloody obvious you ain't a, a broom. Did you think I'd just tell you because you asked nicely? Oh, you're a bitch. Oh god, let's go. Mirror's going for that neck. I'm going for that jug, bitch. Oh, it's up top. Alright, time to talk to Elf now and see what he's got to add. God, I cannot wait till Stormblood. It's gonna be fun. I actually really did like Snormblood. Heaven Ward's not bad, but Snormblood's like special. <laughs> Have you made any progress, Heidi? Of course not. <sighs> so, I was born of a Lisa nobleman and Hyruian 
Maidservant. Grafton has no location, but is far from more information than we had before. Yes, now that her striking features are known to us, maybe we only need to remain vigilant. There must be a way we can draw the mongrel out in the open. Hmm, maybe we should have some Tataru. Speaking of which, where, where is Tataru? She oh, found it. She went below to make him for his own road, didn't she? Must find her quickly, I mean, I have a premonition this is not going to end well. Oh god. We gotta find her quick. Alright, Tataru, she's probably getting herself in trouble again. Cash gaze away, but see no sign of Tataru. Fander. She must be around here somewhere. I take it you have no luck either. There she is. <clears throat> ah, I'm sorry. Did I say anything? Oh, she's in a panic. Wait, down there, isn't that the tarot? Those men are chasing her quickly, I mean, after that. Yeah, no problem. Where do you think you're going, Missy? I... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend. What's going on here? What's it to you, boy? Piss off. Hold on, I've seen them around. They're in and out of House Four Tom's Manor all the time. We just have it. piss oh, off. Oh, I see. Skulking about at your highborn master's bidding, eh? Bloodhounds hoping to catch a whiff of heresy, is that it? No, you told me to piss off, and I'm going to tell you to piss you off. You are quite mistaken, I assure you. We came here to help. And if you know what's good for you, you will let us pass. Haha! <laughs> Listen to the pups yapping. Come here, boy. I'll give you cause to yelp. Enough! Leave threatening women and children to our betters. We don't have the knack. Killed her. What up? Lay a finger on the blue blood's pups, and you're like to lose the hand. In often I get called on by glorious heroes like yourself. So tell me, what have I done to deserve you? We want to end the violence. You gotta love revolutionaries. They always are the ones with the weird accents. Where are they? I don't remember. It's fun stuff. They didn't much care for my story about the weathered cane. Damn. For once it would seem the fates are smiling upon us. Had those ruffians forced our hand, I do not think we would have been sued. Yeah, before you start, let's go somewhere a bit more private, eh? The Forgotten Knights, eh? Ooh. Ah, we fine. Tynus is doing slightly better. Yeah, I had to get more episodes out today. This actually makes up for yesterday, then. That means I at least cut even. That's usually the goal. As long as I break even on videos every day, it's like a pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Tomorrow I probably won't, though. Oh, wait a minute. Can we do that? I think it's best if you take this lead this time. I need no problem. If you're nervous, I could try parlaying with them on our behalf. Perhaps they'd be interested in techniques of working, uh... Lunon Laws, or maybe the Tale of the Coast of Gladius. Oh, I know, the legendary skill that everybody loves that one. Never gonna ask why she does that. 
never gonna ask. So they all left for a little bit of coin. Interesting. So, while you're on your way to kill Nidhogg, you stumbled on some dirty secrets that the Holy See has been hiding for centuries. Eh? What are they on about? The high houses. And what makes a nobleman so bleeding noble? They trace their blood back to King Thordon and his Knights Twelve, the founders of Ishgard. But our friends here reckon we're all descended from the heroes of Eld. Highborn and lowborn alike. Ooh. And so Sir Emmerich, Lord Commander of the Temple Knights, has gone to ask the Archbishop if he wouldn't mind letting everyone know. Is he simple? The old bastard will have him executed for heresy. Well, seems to me that's what the good sir wants. Seems he thinks a noble sacrifice will serve to prove his claims. We cannot stand idly by and allow Sir Emmerich to do this. Ishgard has need of him. Look, you've a good heart, I can see that. Willing to risk your neck for someone else even when his troubles ain't yours. What's this got to do with me? If Sir Emmerich is imprisoned in the vault, we will need all the help we can muster to breach their defenses and rescue him. Ooh. What in the hells? Hell, somebody's about to get yeeted. Hey. It's survivable. Hurt like a bitch. Ah, the unmistakable scent of heresy. Where and what bitch? do we have here? The honored guests of House Four Tom consorting with the Queen of Rats. Plotting insurrection, I shouldn't wonder. That won't do. Sickness is wont to fester and spread. It must be burnt out ere the infection takes hold. I reckon Sir would be happy to wield the irons himself. Well, so happens. I've got irons of my own. Such simple creatures, rats, certain to attack when cornered. Not necessarily, they might panic. Let us step outside, milady. In here, your toys could hurt someone. You threw a guy down like two flights of stairs. Or is it one flight? Not one person's gone over to make sure he's okay, though. I mean, he only landed on his back and slammed into the freaking earth. Show me you idiots are healers. I assume that's you. I use quick knock because I'm a dick. As all your friends have. Oh god, he's got a man. Right there! 
Okay, I'll targets down as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, he's good. Follow me, follow me. They always, they always seem to like bring him in to just help the character out. Filthy rats! Run away, run away! everything getting mixed in again. I miss those. Oh my god, I miss them. The combination attacks are worthwhile. There's no denying your gifts. A well-deserved reputation. Picked a little Enough. early. Bitch, why are you doing backflips? If I could do backflips like that, I'd be lucky set. Bastard. Why is he a lucky bastard? He knows how to do backflips. Nay, tis we who are lucky. Had we fought on, twas but a matter of time before our conflict claimed the life of an innocent bystander. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm fine. I thought the Heaven's Ward might come here as well. They came to the Temple Knight's headquarters. Aye. Sir Grino announced that the Lord Commander had been imprisoned under suspicion of heresy, and that the Heaven's Ward had been granted full authority in his stead. Oof. Then the Heaven's Ward now commands the Temple Knights. Those still loyal to Sir Emmerich answer to me. Alas, that amounts to but half our number. The other half, who opposed his promotion to Lord Commander, have gathered at the vault as ordered. That ain't good. Bolster in the guard already, eh? If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were expected. I take it you're in charge around here? Hilda, and yes. The young master was just persuading me to join his lost cause. Convincing little beggar. I, <laughs> your passion moved me. A bit. That, and the fact that we're sick of living off the leavings of our betters. If you've a mind to change things around here, 
Then we've a mind to join you. Thomas says, yes, inside here, we must move quickly before they discern our intent. I think they already discerned it. Uh, I never liked him, not since the days as inquisitor. He far, took far too much pleasure in his work. I had not reckoned with Temple Knight's involvement, not his enemies at any rate. That ain't good. So, first Sir Grenix and Sir Pulserin. Now this Charbert character. I mean, it makes you wonder, doesn't it? Are all the Knights of the Heavens Ward this bad? Sounds like it. Bug me if any anything to say. How the hell did you do that thing with the other things? Ho oh, ho ho, you didn't give me half that highborn scum, what for? That was a sight for sore eyes, that was. Let me guess, you're wondering why I chose the mongrel, right? That's well, because it's what I am, and not ashamed of it, not anymore. Besides, even my pure blood pups have more in common with me than the lords and ladies up on high. They, none of them are well bred. Hell, some of them mothers were cast out after a spot of fun, same as mine. Story as old as time, and one we're sick of hearing. Which is why we took up arms. Not that we need to hold all the blue bloods to account. Some had been done right by us. I'll allow them. Uh, I'll, I'll allow, like, them in the house. Probably not. Alien art. I don't know. Enough talk. He's still French. French still rotting in a cell. Let's not keep him waiting. Okay. Ah, now we're working in a secret to undermine the holy scene. The high house is now not much I'll acknowledge. But this is nonsense about throwing wide open the gates for heretics. It's just that nonsense. If not you, then who? Ah, you temple knights. Of course, I reckon it was your beloved Sir Emmerich's doing it first, but then I heard how he lost his head. My next best guess would be the Heaven's Ward. That they say they have the perfect suits to go door to door through the broom, slaughter the heretics and their sympathizers in one fell swoop. But the Heaven's Ward scheme did not account for Lady Icehart's intervention, and so they did so they had been forced to improvise. Fine bloody mess, ain't it? But the die is cast, so what's the plan? We must divert the attention of the high houses away from the city, and to do that, we need the cooperation of your allies in their service. Yeah, what makes you think I have friends in high places? We fools not to. Given your goals, lowborn knights are ideal recruits. Most feel, swore our fealty only on a desire for a better life. Offered an opportunity to shed the yoke and live them for themselves, who among them would not at least be tempted to take it. Where is the man eager to die for the cause he does not hold dear, but it need not come to this day. If they die and their fellow knights are deployed a field to deal with the new threat, a massing of heretics for example, then they will be unable to join the defense of the vault. Ah, spread false reports of attack to get him out of harm's way, you mean. City will not soon forget the heretics' last assault. The high houses believe in our attack at Finwit. They want no choice but to act. Can it be done? Eh, can we trick them into leaving Ishgard? Aye, can we keep them out for long? Not bloody likely. Make sure you're ready before I send a word, because you won't get a second chance at this. Then it's decided to the vault. The Archbishop must be held to account. Law Commander granted his liberty. Ooh, I like it. Who do we talk to? Lucia? Ah, uh, hearken to me, everyone. We have made, we have two objectives: rescue Sir Emmerich and apprehend the Archbishop. We will therefore divide our forces in two parties. Uh, Lord Horsfawn, Stinian, Master Alphano, and I will make uh, ready to breach down the ground, go and search for the Lord Commander. We will not move, however, until the second party has entered the vault. I speak of your party, Warrior of Light. For this plan to succeed, you will need to fight your way into the highest levels of the vault even onto the Archbishop's private chambers. When the Heaven's Ward realize what you intend, they will fly to their master's side, leaving only a token for us to guard the goal. You mean the goal? The goal, I don't know. And Temple Knights loyal to our cause have, um, already secured the entrance to the vault. Once you're within, they will signal for us. If all goes to plan, we shall rejoin you with Sir Emmerich in confronting the Archbishop together. Is everyone clear as to their duties? Then let us do what must needs to be done. No problem, no bra. However, 
As always, everything has to come to an unfortunate end. And for you guys, it has to end right now. <laughs> um, again, sadly enough, I do have to end it just because we're reaching so close to the uh, end of this. Um, I know with uh, Final Fantasy XIV, we'll head into the vault. If I remember correctly, we fight in a dungeon. Is it a dungeon? Yeah, it's a dungeon. That or it's a trial. I don't goddamn remember. Don't expect me. I never remember things. So calm down. So, yeah. But, as always, guys, um, I love this. It's fun. We're getting to the really fun parts of uh, Heaven's Ward. Especially this section. This, this section is amazing. Um, so, with that, all I have to say is this. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. When we come back, ladies and gents, we're heading to the vault. And we're going to go see if we can get Sir Emmerich and try to start the Archbishop and the Heaven's Ward. I will be seeing you guys then. Thanks.